Hi, welcome to Splash and Go. Nate Ryan here with Kyle Petty at Chip Ganassi Racing, a team that had a really good day at Atlanta. Kurt Busch finished third. Kyle Larson led the most laps, had a chance to win before a speeding penalty. Kyle, another driver who had a chance to win, felt he probably could have won. Martin Truex Jr. <laughs> was a little bit upset yes. with how he was raced by the lap car of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. in the closing lap, said it was ridiculous. What was your take? Did you, do you feel like Truex had a legit beef? No, I, I, I don't. I, and, but having said that, having said that, listening to Jeff Burton and some of his comments about it, I don't know how far back the dirty area is with this car either, uh, with this new package. Uh, so I'm going to give Truex a little bit of the benefit of the doubt on that. At the same time, at the same time, what he was saying is the things that you say inside your helmet to your crew. Help me with that guy. Get him out of the way. I'm coming. Can you ask for a favor? Can you get him to move over? But you don't jump out when the race is over with and start slamming the guy and point specifically and say, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. is the reason I lost this race. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. is not the reason you lost this race. The reason you lost this race is you weren't there at the end in a position, and it's not because he held you up. You had an opportunity. Right. And, and he started complaining, really, if you go back to the radio, I mean a long way back, 10 or 15 car lengths back. And that's when you start asking, tell the other spotter, uh, see if he can. He's not racing with anybody. Is he a lap down? Can he get over? Yeah. But, you know, I, I don't... I don't I think it was uncalled for. This is racing. Right. This is racing. This is not, hey, that car's running 55 in the fast lane. He should be over in the right-hand lane and, and clear up the, no, now, that guy has a position. Rick, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., of course, has taken some guff for how he's yeah. raced other drivers yes. the last couple of years. He's taken a lot of flack on social media. He tweeted that his general rule of thumb is that when someone gets within five car lengths, yeah. then he'll give them, cut them the break. But he didn't do that for Truex a half a straight away, yeah. away, like you said, when Truex is saying to the spotter, give me help, because Stenhouse didn't feel like he was close enough. Yeah, and, and look, every driver has that. And, and I, that goes back to what I said a minute ago about the arrow, how, how close is the dirty air. According to Stenhouse, with the old car, and his other rule of thumb was five car lengths. I understand that. And that's pretty basic, man. You see the guy, you know, objects in the mirror are closer than they appear. Yeah, you know, you yeah, see that yeah. guy coming, coming, coming. And basically, Truex got to a point, and it didn't look like he was coming that fast. Uh, it, it really didn't. Truex thought he was coming a lot faster, but um, I'm, I'm on Stenhouse's side on this. That's, that was uncalled for. Right, and Stenhouse, I also heard from somebody at Roush Fenway Racing today that he felt as if he might be able to unlap himself. He felt like he was faster than a lot of the top 10 cars. He was the first car lap down. So some extenuating circumstances. Another thing I want to talk to you about here is that Stenhouse, again, it, it, kind of becoming the villain in some ways. And meanwhile, you have Truex, who was very you know, vociferous last year after Martinsville about the way he was raced by Logano. I think it's interesting the way both of these guys have sort of become storylines in the yeah. way they've reacted to how other people have perceived their racing or how other people have raced them. Yeah, you know, listen, we talked a lot about Truex. Um, that's the way he races. That's in his DNA, he races a certain way. He can't change. I, I don't care. He can give us all the lip service he wants to. He's not going to change. Stenhouse races a certain way. Stenhouse is going for it. Lap after lap. We've seen him, you know, at, at Daytona take out two thirds of the field in two different accidents at, at different times. Right. But you got to give him credit. He was trying to make something happen. Sometimes Truex waits too late to make something happen. Uh, so you've got two ends of the spectrum, a guy that's really going after it lap after lap and a guy who's thinking about it a little bit more. And that's Truex. He's thinking about it. So, um, you know, I, I've got no problem um, with Stenhouse. Obviously, I don't race against it, but I've got no problem with anything that Stenthouse has done. And, and I think it's just everybody likes Truex. So it's easy not to like Stenhouse, especially when you put them next to each well, other. Well, the fact that everybody likes Truex, I think Truex, it seems like, gets a little bit upset that he races everybody clean, yeah. but he doesn't always get it back. It's not reciprocated. Is there something to that? I mean, should... No. 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 <laughs> there, there's no listen, listen. You know, let's go to, to... You've got 40 different individuals. They have... They were raised different. They came up different. They drove against different guys when they started racing. They learned to race different. They learned to race with their fathers, their uncles, with, with other adults, uh, with other kids. So they set their own boundaries and their own standards when they're 8, 12, 15 years old. Um, and you throw them all together, you're going to have 40 different personalities. That's just the way it is. So I, I, don't, I, you know, I don't think, I understand what Truex is saying, um, but from that scenario, then he should have raced in a different time period. There was a different time period when that was the norm. It's not the norm now. Right, interesting. All right, well, as Kyle mentioned, we discussed this last night on NASCAR America, and you can watch NASCAR America weeknights daily 
5 p.m. Eastern on NBCSN. Thanks for watching Splash and Go. Hey, NASCAR fans. Thanks for checking out the NBC Sports YouTube channel. Make sure you hit subscribe below for the latest NASCAR news, race highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.